Greetings, welcome back once again, everyone, to Enlightenment to All on YouTube. I want to make a quick video today. I'm not in my fatigues today, as you can see. A, because it's been 90 to 100 degrees for the past month. B, because everything is burning around us, and there's been no rain, and there's been no cloud seeding plan. Which is exactly the topic I want to cover today for you. So this, I want you people to share this everywhere, because this should be making frontline news everywhere, as all of our lands are burning and the wildfire smoke is out of control. So first of all, I will have all this information linked in my video description below, so be sure to check that out for yourself. In the past week, as I've continued my independent journalism and blowing the whistle on the robust cloud seeding and weather manipulation program by the United States government and the Air Force for over 70 years, I came across an informational archive of theirs in regards to records they have kept of all the types of weather manipulation that have been going on. I'm going to show you a screenshot I took from their archive right now. You can see here we have dates, we have locations listed, we have PDFs, and we have the type of activity. Look at these types of activities, people. Snowpack augmentation. If you use your brain and actually think, then you can devise that through augmenting the snowpack, they could restore every river and every lake that has dried up. Because with increased snowfall, obviously comes increased runoff. Another term here, increased precipitation. They try to make us think that our, excuse me, that their capabilities are limited. These records extend back to the 1940s. And through increasing precipitation, you can curb all wildfires and wildfire smoke. So then the question becomes, why are they not doing this? Why have I not seen a cloud seeding, seeding plane in months? They were manipulating the weather in Vietnam to cloud seed heavy rain to slow the advance of the foreign troops. Their capabilities are not limited. They're lying to you. Now, I'm really glad I got this screenshot here because of the story I'm breaking today. So let's go on over to Google. Of course, Google search is hiding a lot of things now from everybody. So for all I know, this could be just a Google search that's been the term. All I know is as of yesterday, this website was still working and I was still able to read archives from it. But as of today, this website is no longer available and has been scrubbed from the internet. So here we are at Google. I'm first going to go to my Twitter page, which highlights this story that should be being shared everywhere. Breaking NOAA weather manipulation record archive scrubbed from website mere days after I blew the whistle on a robust cloud seeding program for over 70 years, yet wildfires continue to rage. I'm going to copy this link. Please follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. I am currently the most censored journalist on Twitter that is not banned. And I can prove that right here. You can see right here that Twitter has labeled my account. The reach of your account may be limited and its content may also be temporarily restricted as in being excluded from friends, replies, and recommended notifications. They claim that this was due to platform manipulation which I have never done. This is another bullshit censorship that they are trying to pull on me for trying to give you people the truth, which I'm doing right now. So here we go to the NOAA page, and this page is no longer available for viewing on the internet. There were over 100 pages and 40, excuse me, 70 years of weather manipulation stored here, and now it's no longer available. Just hours after I started posting that link everywhere on all of my thousands, and I shit you not people, I administrate thousands of whistleblowing informational activist technology groups online. Suddenly now it's gone missing. I really wish I would have gotten more of these screenshots, but I think one should be enough to get my point across here. And let me be very clear what my point is, everybody. 
Civilians are under attack, and they have been for a long time. We are at war. It's a multifaceted war. If it were planes dropping bombs on us all, surely we would be organizing and fighting back to do something about it. But because it's weather warfare, everyone just wanders on as a cattle grazing field. But the main question, the main point I want to make here in this video today is why, after there has been a robust cloud seeding program for over 70 years that includes, and I quote, snowpack augmentation and increased precipitation, which, as I stated earlier, can restore every lake, every river that has dried up, and it can curb every wildfire and end all this wildfire smoke we're all dealing with. Why are our lands still burning more every year? It's time for the American people to regrow their brains and spines and truly start to combat this tyrannical regime that is corrupt and that has experimented upon us and our ancestors since time began. So again, you can keep trusting on me to give you the truth, everyone. If you wondered why I'm called the conspiracy nut job, I just showed you why. It's because I'm trying to give people the truth and everyone trying to hide it labels me as that. I just proved to you that I'm one of the most censored journalists on Twitter that is not yet banned. And as you all know who followed my YouTube channel, I am blacklisted, I am censored for giving people the truth. So ultimately, what does the truth mean to you? And is it worth fighting for?